Started here with the MIU students crew battle. Oh, never mind. We're not getting started because this is a button check. What are you talking about? Green Hill Zone Omega, best legal stage in the game. Yo, I love the music because I like Sonic. You know, a lot of people don't like Sonic. Um, what he's like in this video game. Put that aside. But I do enjoy his, 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 his acting. Um, hey, yeah, I think you put aside some of the uh, mistakes that you've had. See, if you put aside like most of it, yeah, and you're like, oh, this is the good bits, right? It still, it still has a good aesthetic. <laughs> yeah. it's still got good music. I'll give it to you. It's just in terms of an overall gameplay experience, some of the entries are subpar, I'd say. I think that's about the nicest way. You could say it's it's definitely below par. It's it's definitely all right. Some of the games are garbage. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Let's just put that on the table. <laughs> uh, that song. Bowser versus Captain Falcon. Um, hmm. Bad matchup for Bowser. But little do you know, this is Barry, and Barry's a villain. He oh, is Bowser incarnate. We have the legendary GT Gold on that Captain Falcon. Oh. That, oh. That, that's a name that really makes people shake their boots, if you know what I'm saying. God. So this is just two evils clashing. Let's see who's going to come out on top. Uh, and here we go. And just, uh, just so you know, there's also two versions of Barry, right? There's Light Barry, which is normal Barry, you know, see him on the streets like, hey, what's up Barry? That's, that's the Barry you can see. There's, also, there's Dark Barry. And Dark Barry will, like, kill your children. And like, and then also kill your wife, but not ne oh, just kill your wife. Kill, kill your. Oh, oh no! Oh, never mind. But who cares about that? It's the GT Gold. Now, to be fair, this man is uh, quite the Falcon player. Uh, we have a we have a move we named after him, Sadia Special. It's something that I think uh, a lot of people have to look uh, and what exactly is that? Is that the run past side B backwards? Oh, yep, that's the classic. That's definitely the classic. Yep, that, that's what we call it over here. Uh, and obviously, uh, this is the man that wants the stock. That's the chance. So we're definitely. He's definitely looking like a light barrier right now. Oh, no. Light barrier is almost just dead barrier. Because uh, Dark Barrier's signature move is. Read the tech in place F smash. Um, and we're not seeing any, any of that quite yet. This is the percent for Kuba switching with that range. The first fair. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gonna definitely do it. Well, uh, he's definitely got a lead to start things off. Yeah, and that's like. The first player is actually super important in the battle. Um, oh, alright, Barry, Barry, uh, that'll do it. You know, stopping the bleeding real really quick. Oh, Barry. Good jump out of there. He's jumping out of there again, but this time, um, Gold reads it. Plus those uh, dash grabs. And Barry's dead. Alright, he had a short life, but, um, alright. He does. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Converse. Um, uh, you can't do like a single line format in Notepad. Damn it. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, fucking dead. There you go. Eloquently put. <laughs> It is updated. Oh, 23? You're right. You're right. I was trying not to, but... Oh, no. It appears I have to Mr. Gold over here. It's free stock in the crew battle. Watching 
We are waiting for the next player to come. Please hold. Also known as okay, Minted. If you did not know, Leon has a patented number one peach play on Dragon Smash. Number one peach play. I, I could pull up the video right now, but we don't have time for that. Because this is about to be a great time. Well, let's get straight into the action. Uh, oh, by the way, so there's no bands, so you can go wherever you want, Leon. <laughs> no DSR. This is why we need DSR. <laughs> no DSR. Interesting. <laughs> uh, I mean, to be fair, kind of hard to limit the stage pool. Yeah, that would be. Don't have a stage pool to begin. <laughs> it's with. like, all right, I guess we've got to go to um 75M at this point. <laughs> got to memorize all the blast zone variants to uh, have different. Three, two, one, go. Alright, you're gonna start off here. Um, yeah, Minted is not on PR, right? but he was one of the, our own versions, and he's been on PR uh, recently. Um, I'm pretty sure he's twice though. So, um, so he, he's definitely uh, one of our. We're, we're climbing up the ladder here. Uh, Saving your best for last, I think. <laughs> yeah. um, so. What's really interesting about um, Falcon and NOU is that uh, we play against Nixie a lot, right? We see a great Falcon. Oh, yeah. But because of that, no one feels confident in the Falcon matchup. Because Nick is so good. Interesting. Uh, even though, like, half of us play Falcon. I personally don't, because I think Falcon isn't hype. But you know what is kind of hype, though? That fair. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 so, yeah, I guess Ooh, this is actually... Oh, Le Leon! <laughs> so that's another patented Leon move right there. Killing yourself is is definitely the Leon. Yeah, I, I, I get the uh, impression that uh, Mr. Gold here is a little bit nervous for an unfamiliar matchup, but it looks like he's starting to warm up a bit. I wonder how this matchup even goes, to be honest. I know very little, and this is one of those things I don't know. <laughs> Full disclosure. Um, it feels like a kind of like an even matchup, right? Because like upper me is probably gonna kill Peach at like now, um, but then the edge of the game should be pretty good, and Peach's combo game, especially level sense, is like, really lethal. Yeah, I mean, I think when it comes to thinking about matchups, when you're not really certain, you gotta look at like what tools the character has yeah. and how that plays against your opponent's play style. I definitely think Peach has the tools to keep Captain Falcon on edge, but you know, I, I think you know, I really think it could explode both ways. Oh, absolutely! Ooh, that was a great Falcon dive. Um, oh my God! So easy. Uh, gold actually just looking like a gold digger, just digging through these stocks right here. Um, I mean, he's really gonna have to like, get it together. Um, if they're gonna you gotta watch back. out for the uh, the Smash Four special to roll in. Yeah. Um, oh wow! Not getting the sweet spot on that. Not that time. So one of Leon's um, weaknesses as a player is that he does have a difficult time ending out stocks. Uh, that that four air at the um, very beginning was very fortunate, but um, this is definitely, we've seen this quite a lot. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I think he'll probably have a easier time taking out the stock if like he gets another situation where they're on the platform. Mm -hmm. uh, back throw will do it. Yeah. Alright. So, uh, so uh, it, the deficit's still the same. Uh, nothing's tra changed much. Yeah, it's um, a two stock deficit. Although, uh, very impressive. So it's only four. Uh, dead. Also dead. Alright, so who do you think your t team is uh, going to win? Well, I heard them <laughs> saying bring out the game and watch, but I don't think they're going to send me out. Mm. Um, I do see you guys have Cloud and Martin. Two yeah, to be fair, uh, our Cloud is probably closer to one of our anchors. Um, I don't think Locke could do decent. Um, I think for what it's worth, you know, there's, in terms of like skill divide, you know, me. Pilot, by the way, high stream. You know, I'm certainly not exactly a star player. Why, why don't we have like a commentary thing? Yeah, change up the view while we're on. Ah, I see. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, obviously, I'm not exactly a star player. My place and. Oh, no, we are sending a lock. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, so, I have the high highs, low lows. That's how it goes. Um, no real results to speak of, although, you know. You get stuff. Mm -hmm. You can out jank a lot of people. Yeah. You hit people with matchup knowledge. You really frustrate some folks. But yeah, so sending out Locke. Uh, he's a consistent mark player. He's getting there. I think he's one of those players that I think has a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. He's at it. Can really climb up. Now, of course, I don't know anything about Marth Peach either. Uh, you know, I think if the goal here is to take a stock without losing the deficit or even at least keep mm -hmm. it even, That's very I, I think this is a fair pick. Uh, Marth is definitely like, especially since Peach and Peach does have trouble with uh, disjoints, um, Marth can definitely kind of set the page, pace of the matchup. Uh, and he can be, uh, harass Peach offstage, not necessarily always getting the edge guard, but a lot of damage. Um, so it, it's definitely going to be about um, early percent combos for Peach, and then just playing the long game with Marth. Yeah, and I think if uh, Marth nails down his spacing, mm -hmm, absolutely, we'll, we'll see some possibly quick early kills. Switch back here. Uh, yeah, so we still um, NYU still has the uh, two stock deficit right now. Um, so right now, I think what Mitch's plan should be is to at least get the first stock off. And at that point, he's kind of done his job. He's taken three stocks. It's fun. Go totally even. Um, yeah. Hmm. And certainly for SIT side, they're just looking to knock off the next stock. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get a good, uh, better, a better counter pick in. <laughs> Uh, the classic one more stop Three, chance during two, stop take. One, go! <laughs> Alright, so we're out to uh, FD here. Um, interesting. Ooh, look at the cat. Uh, playing some catch, father and son. Minter was definitely trying to get something started there, but uh, neither of them actually was able to convert much off of uh, the down throws. Yeah, what's worth noting is Locke plays very patiently. Uh, you won't see him going for a lot of crazy stuff. You know, he's definitely very much uh, waited out and see. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say he's super reactionary, because I've seen him definitely take some really good initiative, but when, when he plays to a slower tempo, I think that's where he shines. Well, Leon is actually kind of... His feet are on fire right now. The movement is definitely... Um, but yeah. You'll notice, like, he goes for the grab. He waits to read the opponent's reaction. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So, Mentor is actually covering um, options off like really well. Um, he got at least like 80% of just going. Um, yeah, lock on, very lock good, uh, good combos. Yeah, that's kind of good. Uh, good, nice, easy damage with dancing blades. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He likes to go for the easy damage, try to get things up the tipper range. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't think it'll be the most exciting game, but uh, he at least is very stable player. Oh, I like the idea, but it's probably pretty hard to get that uh, in Marth because his, uh, his up is so quick and he's probably going to get the ledge before he um, hit the carry and goes off. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, um, the last time Winter was in a group battle, he pulled a, 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 a Mr. Saturn. Ooh. Oh. All well, right, that's one stock. Yeah. So tell me, stock more, out, tell me more about this and Mr. Saturn. Um, so it didn't necessarily like break a shield or anything. But it put on so much pressure because he was actually losing um, those stocks in that game. Uh, but then he pulled the Mr. Saturn and uh, he was able to get like two more stocks off, off of that player. And it actually was one of the reasons why um, yeah, he's you know, on that. Sometimes you don't need to go for the big stuff. Just having the threat of it alone is very effective. Yeah, that's definitely. Uh, oh, that's a stitch face right there. Oh, I'm not gonna nah, get, it, get it. Went for the drop, but uh, Ooh, didn't get it. Did you see? I'm sorry. Leon was actually just being in an elevator right there. He was just going up and down constantly. Like that was actually kind of crazy. Move. The, the so yeah, really just like one good tipper attack, mm -hmm. and I think Block would take it. He's still playing very patiently, waiting for his movement. Yeah, he doesn't go for anything very crazy. Yeah, looking. Ooh. Kind of an advised dancing right there. But they're not gonna be quite yet, and I don't think Uptro is gonna kill. But, uh, that, that should kill. Yeah. Ooh. You meant to also not DI in that area. What you wanna do is you wanna DI behind. But, um. Uh, you know, Marth is the strongest player in this game. <laughs> Oh, it's a wall of green muscle. Uh, definitely all set in time. Yeah. Um, Alright, so. I mean, like. Guys, I'm not putting on my Be kind of just. We will be back momentarily. Who's up next? Uh, we got um, my man Derek, also known as Nayon, which is our barrel player. Um, uh, your barrel player? Uh, uh, yeah. Um, he's. We have two barrel players. Really. Um, you know, there's a couple on the on the higher end of the PR side. Um, that use multiple player, uh, characters, that, but they also use Bale, and they, they're definitely leaning towards Bale. But um, Neon is definitely uh, one of our Bale mains. Um, not um, not on PR, but definitely one of our stronger players. Like if it was like a 15 or so man PR, then he might be on. Um, that's about uh, that's about where he is on the skill wise. Yeah. <laughs> And you, you can take him anywhere, dude. Okay, it was even you had to get the seed that you got, or you get all the team killing yourself throughout the game. Yeah, we keep our PR at the 10 so people plus some honorable entrances. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Um, cause after that, it kind of just like doesn't feel as special, you know. Like, uh, the ranks, I think, get a lot more fluid the further down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Although, uh, there, there is uh, statistical information available for all the players if necessary. Like oh. Alright, so we're out to Town City. Um, uh, to be honest, um, where can he go? Holding shield against the heel slide in neutral. 
Dude, man, that is actually just ingenious. Already better than I am, and already better. Whoa! <laughs> he actually just came down from the heavens there. That was so cool. I, I'm not sure what's cooler, the footstool dare or the uh, get up attack read to stop it. <laughs> um, yes. So, uh, Neon's objective here is definitely to at least um, just take these two stocks. As yeah, long, all really as to long as you don't lose too much, and hopefully, you know, wouldn't want to get eliminated at this. Yeah, um, he, he's definitely not gonna, he's definitely shouldn't try going even there. He, um, losing one stock is like fine. It's like, alright, make up the deficit. <laughs> um, ladder combo? Alright. He, uh, I think he did the DI against the, uh, the sidekicks, which helped him live. So, I'm just gonna say, Lock actually almost definitely had a tip of voice match right there, after that dare. Um, uh, and, but he opted for dancing, but I mean, that might come to buy him later. Yeah. Okay. Oh, speaking of which. To be fair, you know, um, if we can describe Locke's play style as risky first, which I think that's a good way to describe it, mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure he would be too keen on the dare. Uh, too keen on throwing out some matches, mm -hmm. since they tend to be black gear options at the very least. Uh, he's very good at getting out of the bail combo, at least. Uh, Locke definitely looking out to take, this, uh, take at least one of these stocks out. Um, yeah. Kind of a risky uh, afterward kick in there, but like, not getting punished for it. Yeah, um, didn't get hit with the witch time. A good read on his part. Not a, the, the combo he was looking for. There. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like there's been a lot of the combo follow-ups. Me, I'm doing a really risky just run up witch time there. Um, Especially in neutral, uh, it's pretty ill, guys. Uh, oh, and uh, that that's not going to work against Locke. He's yeah. very patient, you know. He, mm -hmm. He's okay with, like, taking a hit on shield if it helps, you know, so. I think some of the stuff we do, like, you know, run up shields, the tomahawks, run up down, you know, doesn't straight up. Nice uh, get out of jail free card there. Especially since I think even under immense pressure, he still plays very calmly. Mm -hmm. Getting a little tap there with the floor. Uh, not really getting much off it, but you know, just to say, like, hey, I'm still here. Um, I'm trying respect. to contest the bayonet at disadvantage state. It's brave. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so that's a, that was a pretty good lead. Right? If he had rolled in, that was definitely going to be the stop right there. Um, Rock uh, smartly just taking in place. Yeah. Whoa, bear! You know, he's gonna DI that. Yeah, almost. Although, that percent now, I think, uh, next one might kill. Oh. Uh, yeah, but he spammed it um, a little bit too much and not gonna get anything off it, even if um, you hit it. Oh, wow. I, to be honest, I really enjoy the uh, kind of doing. He's, he's trying to get for these pretty early kills. So he says he has a lot of rage. Um, because this stock is really Oh, I think if he gets a solid tipper, that's another stop. Uh, Although he, he definitely does favor that dancing blade a lot, and I don't think that's exactly a, the strongest kill option. Um, weak bear, not gonna do it. Um, so, Nail is actually throwing way too many wishes. Oh, oh, not the tipper. Maybe a uh, smash for the down throw or forward throw? Forward throw. Oh, forward, forward throw. throw. Forward throw. Forward throw. All right, so Neon doing um, doing enough so far. Um, uh, it's only a, uh, one stock that's there right now. Uh, uh, it did a respectable effort, and I think he he took one stock, which you know I think between that and the last game where he took the other stocks, um, I think he did a respectable job. Good job, Lock. If you're eventually viewing this mod. Uh, so who, who's coming out? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I think we are putting up Buzzo. Buzzo. Beloved Diddy Kong. Ooh, Diddy Kong. Oh, I can, I, that's definitely a very understandable uh, counterpick there. Um, yes, and uh, 
for what it's worth. Uh, I believe I heard the turn at Chaos Slayer being mm-hmm. thrown around in the back here. Uh, Justin, Justin's up there on our own ranking. Uh, and uh, he certainly is definitely capable of playing a long line games. Mm-hmm. Diddy Kong is very fast, he has a lot of really weird aerial momentum, and this man absolutely loves using that to his advantage. Um, I think we're going to see some pretty slick movement from him. Oh, yeah. And I think this is this is definitely um, Buzzle's like opportunity to take. To, like, uh, I, I, to be honest, I think he has the tools right now to just take uh, take off Mayon's uh, two stocks. Yeah. Um, because um, now that you see a lot of Mayon's tricks, um, especially Bale is going to be the character that can punish those. Yeah. I really think it depends. You know, if he has his pop off moment, uh, Puzzle's definitely going to do a lot of damage. Mm-hmm. The name of Drake. I mean, Diddy Kong's options, they're fast, they're going to be He's very capable of blowing people out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, especially if you play a big game, game, especially against Bale, because Bale, not the best at approaching that. She has options that are, might be hard to deal with, but if, like, if you wait them out and you just you understand that she kind of needs to set her pace, um, then uh, you can you can get on in this matchup. Uh, FD very uh, very strong to be stage. Uh, Banana is a lot more pressure. So. Yeah. Also worth noting, his combos are very mechanically tight. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, you know if he continues to get good grabs and protects as well, uh, it's going to be a war for the player. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah. See. Yeah. yeah. Definitely getting cut right there. Tight combos. Neon's yeah, not getting a lot of damage. As you need it there. Um, and Sylvie so didn't need to get more of his uh, conversions because he's not going to get in as much as, uh, as usual. But opening him up with side B. He's going to get out of that combo. Wow, just an S match. Just calling him out. Oh, he's absolutely brutal with calculating smashes. <laughs> it's like you think you're safe, and then nope, you're going to hit with the random D smash. He's like, hope you're DIing it, right? Actually, going really far after that uh, side B there. Um, to be honest, I'm surprised. Oh, wow, that was actually a great read. Right there. He read the downward uh, after we're in the right. Um, and I soon might even get punished. Um, oh wow. Um, that could have been Definitely could have been a stop right there. Um, but he still has such a big lead and the, there it is. Yeah, he, and he's definitely uh, opening up in it. Yep. Come on. The man has tight combos and he varies them very well. In, in, in the words of our uh, eternal commentator, Sadi, I just heard he is saving so much from day and night. His landings on the stage are very uh, 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 ill-advised, uh, to say the least. Uh, especially on the um, Yeah, I'm surprised he doesn't go for uh, the tilt up smash combo as often. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's normally what I see a lot of uh, Diddy players playing with, but this man really likes to vary it up. Oh, that bit in Banana actually covered him so well. Um, that was definitely a, a calculated risk where he didn't actually even need to punch the numbers right there. Um, oh wow, just fair to stuff him out. Yeah. <laughs> He'll just whittle you down until something will kill out, right? <laughs> and Diddy's kit, it's a lot of moves. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, whoa it's a little whoa, too whoa. high of a percent for that, I think. Definitely looking like. You know, just 173%. And just hit that move. Yeah. <laughs> the old back air. So, Neon, also uh, definitely dead. Um, uh, dead F right there. 
hella dead. <laughs> hella dead. <laughs> Big dead. What happened? is Justin, also known as James, ah, uh, there's a lot of history about about his name James, so let's not go into that. Well, I mean, we have our Justin up there, and your our James oh, commentary. Oh, shoot. So, the name synergy is unrealistic, and uh, we got a Ness, I see. Yeah, they only go into Smash, Bros. and Ness is the best stage, almost by far. Um, oh, trust me, um, our school would tend to have, like, characters be really popular for, like, no good reason. Mm -hmm. You know, like, at what point would you expect the school to be full of Ike characters? And, uh, at one point we had, uh, as one person called it, a mess problem. A mess problem? I think we had about six in our bracket at once, so... We, we certainly do have Ness experience on Justin's side, and we'll see how that, uh, fares for him. Um, so, Justin, one uh, has been a PR, uh, a couple times. Um, has been going out to as many things um, recently, um, so I'm not exactly sure where he would be on the PR, but um, he's definitely one of our more veteran players. He's a junior season uh, playing this game for quite a while. Yeah, and Buzzer, our Justin, is also one of the more veteran players. Also in his junior year, I believe. Ooh, the jump is gone. Is he gonna get the edge guard here? Ooh, getting clipped with the barrel. Makes it back to the barrel. And you know, that's something I don't really see from Buzzer much is the uh, barrel usage. Oh! So. Question mark? So, I like to say that Justin Riles Ha can only kill with Uppy. I've never even seen this man get a back there, I swear. Uh, oh wow, just aggressive landing and I was just staying in the shield. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I feel like that's a great way to summarize a lot of Smash 4 interactions. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I like the dare cancel. Um, to be honest, uh, I like to say. You know what? I'm surprised I'm not seeing. What? Or maybe it's because it's a really bad rage, but it's the classic uh, down throw to forward throw several times combination. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like that's you know, Ness's bread and butter. Yeah. Down throw, put him in the ground, pair, pair. You know, you get a platform in there too. It's good. I'm not seeing that. Um, you know, maybe because uh, Ryos is not really like getting his um. He's not. He's not actually getting that many grab figures. To be honest, he's kind of just boxing him out. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, Buzzer loves his monkey flip. Um, oh, we're just grabbing you know that man. Not in here. Um, trying to roast that banana. Um, roast the banana is so pretty good, right? I'm not a banana person myself, so... I don't know. Never really had any. I mean, neither am I, especially in this game. Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe it's like the smell. No citrus I can't really deal with. <laughs> Ooh, nice bear. Get him on stage. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Hmm. Hmm. Justin is trolling to keep these matches going. Alright. <laughs> uh, whoa. Alright. Um, mix and match combos, you know, make it up as you go. <laughs> Oh wow, that dash tag sent me so far away for like almost no reason. Oh wow, so like... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, nice confirm by, um, uh, by Buzzer right there. Uh, uh, game music got really quiet and I thought that was the last stop for a second. <laughs> Ooh. So let's see what he can do, because uh, he's now at a little bit of a uh, percent lead. Or a percent deficit, sorry, for uh, Justin. 
Is he that gonna try? <laughs> so like, yes. Not gonna lie, if he hadn't died from upbeat his last two stocks, that was a pretty good time to go for uh, 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 the spike. Um, he definitely took his jump and everything. Um, yeah, I, I can't agree with the uh, edge guarding there. It seemed like a bit of an unnecessary risk. And also notice right there. Oh, that was actually a crazy landing by Ryos. Oh, I'm, I'm telling you, he can only kill with upbeat. I'm telling you. <laughs> and I thought we were gonna get one back throw. Get in there. All right, it looks oh like they're sending me. Oh my god, Justin versus Justin and James versus James. This is actually crazy. I guess I'll commentate. All right, so. Time for the most biased commentary that you've ever heard. So, that was the Justin versus Justin matchup, but this is also the James versus James matchup. Because Justin's name is technically James because he hasn't beaten a certain someone in the other room uh, in a set yet. Um, that happened years ago, it's behind us now. His name is James. Um, <laughs> so he has both? Yeah, he is. His, his real name is Justin, but everyone calls him James. Because uh, it's, it's a weight he must hold. Um, Alright, so I guess we're going to be seeing Game & Watch versus Ness. Mm -hmm. What do yeah. you think about that matchup? To be honest, these are like almost the exact same character. Um, <laughs> the exact uh, same character? Well, I, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Like, uh, very similar play styles. They're both like really short. They both have the one thing that Game and Watch Game and Watch has a good crouch. I mm -hmm. don't know if Ness's grab can actually duck on. Uh, can grab him? Yeah, yeah. You, you just pick. Yeah, um, that's actually a really good point. I never thought of that. Um, well, that's just me as a Falcon player because that's one of Game and Watch's biggest tools. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lilac, definitely. Um, uh, I think this is Ness's worst. Stage. Most likely. Just because, yeah, just because recovery's hard, but... Sorry, I'm here on my lap. Um, so the one thing is, like, game is super light, right? So, uh, up airs, uh, God forbid he gets hit by a, a upbeat. Yeah, another one. We can't add four to the list. Just saying, like this is this is an easy percent for an upbeat right now. <laughs> but, yeah, um, he's already yeah, he's 83, and I, I just blinked. But then again, Game and Watch always has that factor of the hammer and also other tools they can use to kill early. Yeah, and bucket too. Um, ooh, that was a pretty risky landing, but it worked out for Riles. Um, definitely like the Bears off stage. Ooh. Oh wow, well, the Game Watch actually not being on, uh, being in front of him. That's that's some Game Watch privilege right there. I've ever seen. Um, Game Watch privilege. Yeah, you, you don't, don't hear that. Those words. But like, that, that, I, I swear to God, that's what that was. Um, uh, Edge guarding Game Watch is not something you want to do. Oh wow, he grabbed oh, him out of the fire. <laughs> oh my God. What? <laughs> okay, oh my these God. are the same character. I swear to God. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, just, just throws him away. He actually just teleported. Um, oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. Um, right. A little bit too many up smashes here. I don't know if they're gonna work, but they are. It is invincible. Yeah, I think maybe he needs to do even more up smashes. Um, Cause one of them's gonna hit eventually, right? Um, nice down here by James. Ooh, he somehow weaved through all that. Oh my gosh. That shouldn't do it. Um, oh, 2-2 two, two not working. He's getting hit by a lot of PK fires, so that, that's not really something you want to do. Oh, wow. If he somehow like got a hit off that, then... that would He would have died. He would just fall on the screen. Rage Ness getting a, a, a B. Oh, it worked! There it is! Yes. It's finally going to work. And James wins the James versus James battle. Yeah. But Justin also won the Justin versus Justin battle. So yeah. at the end of the day, I guess we're even here. Uh, double E D. So now. Okay. Uh, 
I am waiting. Yes. Back to the bus. Yeah, some of those off stage PK thunders. You didn't want to get jumped. Yeah, James doing really well in that, getting that stock, and especially with up smash. I don't know. Who do you think uh, your team is gonna sa send out? Uh, I personally think we're gonna send out Yasin, the Dark Pit. Um, I can see that. Uh, I feel like me too. I don't know. Cloud, Mr. Chalk, and SJ, you're probably gonna save up. So I, I'd say the same thing too. Um, and also, uh, Dark Pit side B. Uh, not only will it kill at like 70, um, that is Yasin's favorite move. Absolutely. Um, I like this guy already. <laughs> yeah. Um. I spam side B with a Falcon. But yeah, like, Dark Pit side B is really good. I think it has invincibility. I'm not sure on that. Uh, it has uh, super armor. Yeah, um, yeah, that's what it is. And, and a reflective Roadmap. property. Uh, so it's like really good. I think we should have hit. Dumplings. Just dumplings. Guys, I'm who's up. You want to be good? No. <laughs> 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 hey, hold on, hold on. Let's analyze the situation. Right, analyze the situation. <laughs> 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 um, are you kidding me? Uh, Ryan's is dead. He's dead. All right. Also with, like, I guess it's time for solo commentary. So now I can diss the NYU team, and no one's on commentary to stop me. Because I can drive the Stevens, but obviously I can't take everyone. Yeah, since you can't take everyone. Everyone must have. How many people can you talk to? Top of your cars. Let's just have a box. I'm not sure he's game at two times. He said to be at, like, nothing. Get ready. I'm nothing. Are you kidding me? All right, so I guess that's uh, your dark pit, man? Yeah. You've seen... Um, would you, you seen? Would you consider yourself a dark pit main? No. All right. Nice. What's your What's your main? Like. I don't fucking know. <laughs> he, he's just a random. Right, I tried all the characters. They all suck. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. No, he knows what's up. They couldn't make one good one. Yeah, it's ridiculous. They're all terrible. <laughs> trash game. Trash characters. Yeah, um, <laughs> they came close. That was perfect. Exactly. <laughs> this guy knows. Dablin um, has fled into the dark pit pool. Um, yeah, like we discussed before, dark pit side B is really powerful in this matchup. You can go anywhere. Pack land. You can go anywhere. Delfino. Yoshi's Island. Is this like the actual Yoshi's Island or the Omega? Okay, okay, good. Okay. Alright. Three, two, one, go! Alright, we're out here to Yoshi's. Yoshi's Island, I think? It's a Yoshi stage. I've only seen this ever being played in Folklore. True. Nice. But you gotta, you gotta definitely, um, well, you need this on the stage. Um, it's so nice and peaceful. Um, it's some variety over the Smashville song over and over again. Whoa. You see oh. that? You see that? I they saw just it. grab him out of the side B? <laughs> game watch privilege? Yeah, game watch privilege definitely told me out in this, uh, in this group. Oh, um, that was a really daring, not. uh. Oh, oh what? my god. What? Excuse me. Okay, okay. What come is on, going come on? on? So, like. I didn't actually think I'd say this more like t three times a day, but what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Game Watch Privilege? I don't even know what's going on. In okay, yeah. That up smash actually might have clanked if he if there was a little bit more. Okay. Wow, not actually gonna die from that. Dark Pit's fake. Forward smash, a little bit. Oh, that should. should get oh, oh no. barely, barely. I think he might have jumped in the bot zone there. Oh. The scores are coming out. The hammer. You know, one one hammer, one nine. Wait, that was the exact same interaction we saw last time. Did he just, so he's <laughs> grabbing him out of the side B. That just goes to show you what Sakurai thinks of his uh, dark pit. Ooh, nice um, S smash again on um, offstage there. James might be good. being a little bit too aggressive S here. Dark pit's just catching him with his off smash or uh, forward smashes. 
Huh, electro shot. So yeah, um, he's not facing the red man that. If he was, then he could actually uh, yeah. use his in invincibility there. Um, if he might have uh, like reversed it, yeah, like Mario sort of. Yeah, exactly. Like Mario. So this is actually really big. If oh, oh my god, my what, is, what is this man doing? What is oh. going on? Ooh, oh, oh, that's it. Wow. Yeah. You seem actually able to even up the deficit right here. So <laughs> now it's 12 12. Yeah, 12 12. Um, could this be? I don't want to use transit, maybe we should make a little uh, breakaway, or at least get the lead for once. Um, we'll have to see. I guess I guess we were in the lead for the entire game, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Thanks to a no good Falcon main. Uh, dead low. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so we're seeing Connor. So we're gonna see Peach versus Dark Pit, a matchup you don't normally see ever. No, see, you wouldn't normally see this, right? But Yasin is very good friends with Minted, Leon, who we saw earlier. So I wouldn't be surprised if he actually has quite a bit of ma uh, matchup experience. Um, yeah, and Connor's Peach is technically a secondary. It was his first main, like when he came to Stevens, mm. but he switched from Peach to Rosalina and then Rosalina to Bayonetta. So. Not his best character, but definitely he's actually taking games off Mega with uh, Peach. So it's definitely coming handy once or twice. And uh, NYU takes three stocks just like that. NYU steals a crew battle. <laughs> I mean, I'm... I know. You're not wrong. Oh, wait, it's Yeah. He's in the He's in the He's in the He's in the yeah, Connor doesn't really have too much matchup experience with Dark Pit. I think he only hit. Yeah. What? Oh yeah, that's true. There is AC, but he doesn't play Dark Pit, does he? Isn't that just Pit? No, they're not. Pit has Dark Pit has an amazing side beat. Pit does not. Oh. You <laughs> see, <laughs> don't just do that. <laughs> Honestly, that recovery is really hard to control. Though. I've tried picking up this character. Dude, I've tried picking up this character. I just can't recover. I'll stop playing it. You know, Pit has a one frame. Oh, was that a pretty pivot draft? Just God. In neutral? Is it just, like just that? going for <laughs> this, this Dark Pit is just crazy. Yeah, so actually, one of uh, Pits is. Low key best moves is just up smash because it's super disjointed, right? Um, if you're on like a tripod stage, it's really difficult to actually land on that um, because you can. What? Yeah. That can't... Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. And you see, uh, oh, nice down air with the air dodge right there. So your point about the up smash, I like to counter with. I was playing against another pit, and I actually was able to get out of the up smash and then tech it. Teching pits up smash. Oh, well, oh. Peach's S King is my sh not actually my shit. I, I, I don't like saying that, but I mean, for some reason we see it a lot. Um, Connor's doing pretty well with his secondary right now. Yeah, we might see this. Um, the deficit just be continued here um, by two. Connor is technically our best player in the lineup, though, so... Dark Pit's doing pretty well, though. Getting his percents. Oh, wow! Oh my god! I don't think I've ever seen that move just swatted off the ground like that. This, this like, Crew Battle is just making Dark Pit's side B look terrible. Like, first it was a game and launch, and now it's, like, Peach's fair. Oh, I won't straight up to Alright. All right. Nice try from the dark so, from there. The deficit returning. Um, so it's back to uh, normal, I think, because yeah. stocks. So. All right. So that means that NYU has the cloud, the mutant, and the Corin. I was like, I don't want to do 
Yeah, just bad, the principle that's too volatile. Meanwhile, Stevens has um, <laughs> Rosalina, <laughs> Cloud, <laughs> and Moria. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't you expect to come in. And now we have a bloodbath, right? <laughs> Peach versus Cloud is not a fun matchup. It's a right, I talk kind of matchup once we lost the And then I took. Oh my gosh. Love you, JT. So, what do you think about the Cloud versus Peach matchup? I think this is heavy Cloud favor, especially with his choice of stage. Never yeah, that's true. He can pick any stage he wants to, so this is going to be a little bit rough for Connor. Yeah, and Cloud has crazy good anti-air options. Um, yeah, Mr. Chocolate is definitely going to go to my bad, one of his favorite stages. Um, uh, so, some really good anti-air moves right here are definitely going to be up air, um, nair, just, just to take up the space that um, he likes to maintain. A uh, dash tag actually is a, for some reason a really good anti-air tool. Um, against Peach. Uh, against almost anyone, to be honest. And the last one I wanted to mention was actually that cross slash right there. Um, it, it, not only is just a really good anti-air in general, it, it takes up the exact like, area that Peach always, 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 always wants to do. No, no, no. Connor's like, definitely doing pretty well, though. No player's really winning, like, coming away with this uh, first stock, but Chocolate has the lead. When do you think that uh, cross slash will kill? What the heck was that? That was just the move? hardest read. Wow, I'm actually surprised he wasn't, he didn't have to use his lemon right there. Um, so, one thing about Mr. Chocolate is it doesn't actually like using his lemon, even though I personally think uh, that uh, he can benefit a lot of I think oh. I understand though, because if you're Cloud, oh my gosh, oh, you're not gonna do it. Wow, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Cloud fair. No, but when you're Cloud, like sometimes it's better to ha always have limit just because of the buffs it gives you. It yeah, gives definitely. You a character. Um, but at the same time, you lose those options to kill really early, mm -hmm. so it's a mixed bag. It's, 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 Oh, oh wow. smash, killing at the top. Yeah, he, he got, um, what was it, the frying pan, and so that goes like straight up. The um, frying pan. Ew! Oh. Ew! Oh. Ew! I, I'm, I don't like that. That's just disgusting. That, that was, was amazing. He actually just... Like, Melee, he meleeed it. He went into training mode and just set Chocolate's damage to 69. That's what, exactly what happened right there. Um, ugh, man. And I thought Chaka was winning. Um, and we thought. Oh, oh, oh no! This is this has definitely been really close right now. Oh, that should be. Uh, yeah, we all yeah. heard it. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. <laughs> but he didn't get that really I sick mean, combo. Though. Yeah, I, I can't. Sure that was literally 69 in less than a second. Yeah, uh, that was I can't. I, I think in terms of like DPS, that was probably one of the highest DPS rates I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely bring Peach um, on your over into your Overwatch League uh, games. Oh, so we're saying Smile versus Mr. Chocolate. Yeah. Come uh, on, Right now. Oh, so we're only up a stock. Uh, right? Yeah, it's just one stock. Uh, <laughs> Regular business. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, I mean, this is Rosa versus Cloud, mm -hmm. and we all know how that matchup is. But at the same time, Smile has had countless opportunities to play Mr. Chocolate and JT Prog, mm -hmm. and all the other clouds that attend, or just like, you know, go pocket clouds. So, Smile definitely knows this matchup. Uh, and this is uh, pr uh, pretty interesting um, because if there's one person that Mr. Chocolate did, want, did not want to go in um, on in this group battle, it was Smile. He told me that straight up. He was like, just do not, under any circumstances, put me in the answer. He's scary. Like, um, when when he has you in certain combos, it just feels like you can't get out. Mm -hmm. Or like, when, he has you, when he's in a defensive position, it just feels like you can't approach him. Like, even with Cloud, even with the matchup. Like, it's just really, like, if he's in the zone, it's, like, impossible. Mm. But the same thing can be said about Mr. Chocolate. Like, when Mr. Chocolate goes hard, like, 
you just can't beat him. I, I've been on the receiving end of that a couple times. So let's see where we're going. Battlefield makes sense. Uh, Alright, that's fairly... I wonder why I know Dreamland, though. Yeah, I kind of wonder the same thing. But, uh, this is the second time I've seen a Rosalina pick up Battlefield over Dreamland today. Alright, so we're going to start here on, on Battlefield. Um, SAT, uh, nice Ducks, NYU, um, with a deficit of 1 with 8. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Are you? Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, my gosh. I wonder if this is nerfs, because, like, I've oh, never seen Chaka do that. Um, Honestly, I thought he was going to make it. Like, yeah. It didn't look like it. looked no, I like think, it. I think, uh, to be honest with you, but... Uh, yeah, that's gonna next drift that we heard, um, not only this chocolate, but anyway. Whoa, what was that? Just, There's some random things going on in this chocolate. That was a gambit back on stage right there, is what I want to call it. Um, oh wow, up here is actually not enough to put movements on the last I don't know if these risky moves are is what Mr. Chocolate wants to be doing. Like, I guess maybe he'll, he'll gain momentum if they work out, and if he gets a stop. And th that's definitely the best thing that you can do in this situation. Mm-hmm. Smiles. He's just kind of being smile right now. <laughs> like, that's he's just doing his thing. <laughs> you're trying, literally, you're staring at Luma um, with like a really mean glare. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, you want glow and blue. Just like, man, if I could kill this star, just murder it oh, right now. There's a the limit. I'm not gonna do it quite yet, but the jab's gonna get him back off stage. Um, aggressive fair, not gonna hit. I'm gonna get the dunk to be it. Oh, oh wow. no. That, that was a really weird play beam there. I don't know what he was trying to get out of that, but. So, this is actually Smile's opportunity to I make. Mean, ooh, that was definitely an uh, opportunity to kill him right there. I'm surprised yeah. he didn't go for it. Smile's really great at like making sure that if you if he sends Luma out, like most of the times it's not risky. Oh, wing right in front of Luma there. Not going for Luma, trying to go for Rosa instead of the situation. That, yeah, that should yeah. be it. Dash attack definitely uh, is a great move in this matchup. Alright, now even though he had that first like really bad stock, he still managed to make the, make the comeback, like make the momentum shift, and now it's definitely in his favor, Mr. Chocolate. So now it's going to be this right smile, just didn't like rip Luma out right there, and like, I don't know, like, toad or something. Oh yeah, Mr. Chocolate didn't trying to figure out how to just touch his feet back on back on the stage here. Mr. Chocolate, or yeah, Smile's just really good at like covering all the options there, but now he doesn't have Blue Mom. Can we talk about how far Blue Mom just went? He uh, just off flew of, off the yeah, stage. Off of just one dash attack? It's actually kind of crazy. It's a powerful move. Oh, I th oh, oh. That, that's not good. <laughs> Oh no, he went for it all, but no punish on Smile's So, part. like, that was a great idea, but he should have just done that, like, one or two uppers. Um, like, he has nearly max rate. Oh, oh my god, don't get that hit. That could have been it. Nair oh. oh. Oh no. Wow, that's actually really big. Sakurai um, is just blessed this man. Yeah. Um. That should be it? No? Ooh. Alright, now he's limit though. He has to use it. Got if he of somehow off. went off stage, that would have been so scary. But uh, the crash is actually still hitting. And Mr. Chalk is still in this. He's yeah, he's doing a great job. Yeah. Like, with this last stock, I think he's got like two. Oh. There we go. But, yeah, able to. Uh, so, like. So now it's even. Or now it's still one. But is it? What happened?
So that means we're gonna have uh, what Mewtwo? Yeah. Mewtwo um, versus Smiles Rosa. Alright, well, what variation of dead can I do? Uh, deceased. Lowercase this time. So, then Oscar is going in uh, with his. Uh, with his Mewtwo. On Smashville. Yeah. Uh, Smile doesn't really have any Mewtwo experience. Like, there's a couple pocket Mewtwo's at Stevens, but, like, not really, like, no meanings. Aside from Tabor, but he's, like, more into Dragon Ball now, fighting games. Three, two, one, go! Alright, so, um, Dinosaur is definitely gonna try and get the first talk here. Uh, he needs to get as quickly as possible. Yeah. That's um, probably the best plan here. Ooh. Oh, that, no! That is not, that is, that all right. is not good for NYU. He, well, he did take the first talk, let's be real. Um, but <laughs> just having to be off of himself. Uh, Oh. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, let's just redo it. Let's redo it. Alright, so his jump button didn't work. Like, that just happens with the game you controllers. Yeah. I learned that as I switched from wireless. Like, <laughs> GameCube. I actually just think that was uh, Rahul was very grounded gameplay we were seeing right there. Not a single jump came out from him. Yeah, uh, that was like, a little bit telling. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, that's yeah. a jump! Chocolate, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Let me do my <laughs> goddamn job. God damn it, that's all Mr. Mr. Chocolate, spoiling the joke. Alright. So, his jump hopefully working this time. Nice, uh, trap by his smile. Getting 54% off the bat. He's continually going, he's dead, that's it! Oh, okay, so like, that's it. That's all a smile needs. I'm good. One hit to death. Low key, holy shit, Luma downer. But also, like, yeah, it's kind of just almost karma at that point, right? Um, even though. Uh, <laughs> Smile only took 1% on that, uh, that conversion. And it was from the blast zone. Oh! Oh my god. That was crazy. That looks... That, was, that scooped him up real. Smile right now is definitely playing his best. You normally don't see him play this aggressive. That means he's confident. I like I like the the trap there. He didn't want him to um, to drift to the right there, so he put him out there. Um, Smiles really great at that. Oh, just raw up smash two times. Oh wow, that forwarder actually like basically saving his life there. Um, oh, Luma's gone. So yeah. I'm not sure if gonna try and stop the bleeding right now and trying to get the stop. Uh, yeah, definitely. Ooh, but the, the f drag down fair to down smash definitely gonna. So Smile much maybe to going for a little bit too many up smashes here. Oh no, that should be it. Yeah. yeah okay. All right, so that's a one for one deal there. Yeah. Um, uh, so Steven's still leading by one stop. Yep. <laughs> so, that means Stevens has to choose between Oreo or JT Prog. I have no perception of time. Mm. I think we're going to leave JT Prog for the clutch, so we're probably going to see Spencer from Oreo come out. Yeah, the unbombed is like. Uh, what is it? I think we're gonna see the Wario come out. Yeah, JT Frog is our main character. Uh, interesting. Yeah. So I think that's really, uh, that's really, uh, really smart here. Um, Wario is, is almost buffed in um, in Cruise because the time is not infinite, but it's basically infinite. Right? Yeah. Um, got nine, nine, nine at the same minutes. time, you can't time people out. Of yeah, but like that's so much time you can just buy yourselves to just charge them off. Right? Yeah, like, and you two. Second last character in the game, he's yeah. Second last character in the game, he's gonna die to walk to like negative five probably. Yeah. Um, as soon as, as soon as the the fart bubble touches him, he's gonna yeah. die. Yeah. He's just gonna. He might as well just like start getting. Yeah. Oh, I actually want. Bro, cause like I have all the buttons I need. Like people like me, like oh. 
But then again, Spencer's Wario isn't really, uh... It's been a while. He left. He left. I want to throw this at him for one second. Yeah, Rahul definitely about to kill himself like he did um, on that, uh, what, what I would call a bike check. Uh, oh, uh, immediately no, does a waft. I don't know. Because it, it's like even it up, right? Because, um, oh, yeah, yeah. right. That, it, 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 it makes sense. Um, <laughs> Just, he's eating. He knows the matchup. <laughs> yeah, definitely knows the matchup. Just uh, <laughs> eating shadow balls. Um, ugh, whoa, that pair literally just destroyed that bike and everything that was um, on it. Um, Mario looking, looking pretty villainous right now. Nice up air scoop, though. Yeah, Warriors definitely gonna have trouble dealing with Mewtwo's down tilts. That's probably the biggest part of this matchup. I think Wario and Hitstun is probably like the funniest thing I've ever seen in this game. Um, You're not wrong there. You just have some pretty great animations. Also, can we uh, do a shout out to Wuttering in 2014 on 3DS? Wuttering was actually... Like, I've never laughed so hard at Smash. Um, Wuttering is... I, I might play this character if Wuttering was still there. But sadly, it was patched out. Um, Wario would be like god tier. Like, <laughs> like he just lived to like a what's it, like 150, 200. Ooh, yeah. Then also is definitely taking the slow approach here, um, which might not actually be to his favor because the like, waft yeah, is a thing. A oh, 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 and the, he, he, I don't think it's charged up oh. yet. Super Saiyan. Um, like... Oh, nice fair to get him out of the bike. Yeah, the fair is just keeping him off for a thing. Oh, that should be it. Oh, yeah. Just barely. Um, so it was actually even stocks right now, but um, waft. Yeah, waft hasn't been used. So. Oh, there it is. That's a yellow percent. Ooh. He might not even need it though. Yeah. And if he doesn't use it to get this stock, then that'd be really good for him. Mm, absolutely. Um, So like basically right now, until Watt is used, we're just gonna have to assume that uh, Dinosaurus is out of the sky. Uh, that's, that's basically the um, philosophy I'm coming into this with. But he's actually he's making yeah, this up he's, really. Um, he's just getting well. these straight hits from the shadow balls. He's getting a lot of percent from it. Ooh, how's he gonna get back on stage? Wow, really tricky there. Oh, oh nice back air, yeah. and that's really good. Yeah. Uh, now this is really scary right now, cause yeah, like 13 percent, maybe more, maybe less. I don't know the exact percents, but pretty soon waffles start to kill. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And like Wario's a heavy boy, right? Um, he's not really like. He, he, oh, 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 okay. I, I I don't think I've ever had a heart attack, but like that was probably pretty pretty close. Oh man. That was almost his death. Oh, that could... No, I'm not gonna do it quite yet. He needs um, to get some sort of confirm into WAP. I think that's what he's going for. So either Nair or uh, up there. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, that should that. be that's, it. No, not quite. We're living to 151. Hey, it's Wario. The more rage, the better. Yeah, there we go. That's gonna do it. Now, like, the loss of rage is kind of bad. <laughs> so the the stock is kind of pivotal for his crew battle. Because whoever wins, whoever wins this will be a stock ahead for. Oh my god! Match. To be honest, if I was him, I would have just done it. I would have just done it there. The, the, I think, if, but if you lose it, then it's really hard to get it back at this point. True. Oh, that oh my god! Smash. Can we talk about how that almost killed? Oh, wow. he tried to go for the uh, the bike with the waft, but 
This is gonna be a little bit difficult now, but I still think it could happen. Oh no, this is definitely. This, remember, this is still Mewtwo, right? Uh, yeah. uh, back air, even F Toe is probably gonna kill pretty early. Uh, oh yeah, yeah fourth actually, throw is doing pretty. Yeah, fourth throw is uh, wireless kill throw. And Lori always has half swap. Ooh, I really like that landing. That was a really smart landing. He actually just got to the other side of Smashville. Um, Completely freeing himself up of any pressure that he was exerting with that bike. Wow, just charging oh, shadow in his face. So fine. Oh, that was so close. I, I mean, oh my whoa. gosh, no. Good punish. Got the this is down really down. tense right now. Yeah, no, this, this is. Either player could take this. We've seen the rolls come out. That's how you know it's tense. One fair, I think, would kill now. Oh, oh yeah, that could kill too. Yeah, <laughs> could kill. Oh, oh that's this it. is a red. Oh, oh, I can't oh, believe oh, it. Oh, Dinosaurus, oh, bring out his T Rex teeth right here, and taking a and taking now, a bite out of water. Stevens is uh, out of one stock, so now it's a uh, JT Frog. It's up to JT Frog. You look like you're begging to win. Oh. I ha have I used died yet? No, I haven't. Yeah, okay. We'll You've used that. every other variation. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So NYU actually taking the lead almost when it matters most, right? Yeah, like this is the last two players. Like this is the best time to take the lead. Yeah. Okay. Because I want to show you a meme, but you're not there. And it's a meme because it's like, and I was showing it to Ali. Was like, yo, show the stash. <laughs> I actually, I don't, I don't even want No, because it's literally, it's, it's literally like, this would happen to you. This is, because it's literally just related to you. <laughs> Check your Facebook messages. It actually loads probably be like, I buy Sam, did someone say double agent? Alright, so now it's up to JT Frog. In order for Stevens to win, he has to uh, take one stock and beat SJ. <laughs> Back to the match. So, I don't know how much experience uh, JT Frog has with uh, Me Too. We'll have to see. Like I said before, there, are, there aren't really too many Me Too's at Stevens. Mm -hmm. But JT definitely goes to a lot of other tournaments too. And I would just like to reiterate, I've said this a time long, but this is Me Too, right? Um, <laughs> definitely gonna die um, at, at 60 at, from anything. Um, Cloud Dash Attack dies on that scene. Um, but yeah, the, this stock is actually going to be really big. Um, if he can get this stock without losing any stocks, then Stevens has a chance. A very, well, it'll, it'll be even basically. Mm -hmm. But if he loses a stock, then it's, it's not. Well, it's like, it's always possible, but like, yeah, you're right. Like, it's, it's definitely a pivotal stock in the crew battle. Mm -hmm. And why you definitely came, awa came awake when <laughs> the, it mattered the most. Yeah, um, Hold, uh, Dinosaurus is definitely gonna try and uh, avoid these juggles right here. That's where he's basically gonna get halfway to death. Um, hit by um, uh, I don't really. I don't think shielding on the platforms is a great idea against me, too. No, 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 I saw him in single versus happy. Oh, yeah, I do oh, like how Digi Prog is playing like, this though. He, he's taking it really slow, and that's exactly what you yeah. kind of should And then he deadlifted um, 500 pounds? He absolutely bad. But, Dinosaurus is actually kind of just. He, he's looking really comfortable here. It seems like he knows this matchup pretty well. Yeah, he definitely plays with Mr. Trout quite a lot. Um, Ooh, got the up air. Not actually able to get that much off with though. He's like this one guy who's like, get your yeah, the one difference between Mr. Chocolate and uh, JT Frog, JT Frog definitely plays a more ice style. Oh, that, that barely works! <laughs> that like sent him, like carried him a little bit there. This is a great landing. Gonna throw him off stage. Yeah, Mewtwo 
JTU Frog definitely needs to get something started right now. Yeah, um, I think. Oh, getting him off stage, this could be big. Oh, fairly. Oh, nice up smash. That. Oh, no, that's. Oh, oh what? Not he covered everything. And now, if he can get this stock. Yeah, so. But he's at 137, like, that's a pretty big deficit. Ooh, not actually going for the grab there, I'm really surprised. What? I can't believe the dash tech came out in time, to be honest. Oh, that was a nice play beam. Uh, oh, that's definitely gonna yeah. do it. Alright. Now NY is in a really good position. Yeah, Dinosaurus has done, like, more than enough that he needs to do to be here. Uh, but he's not gonna he's not gonna stop now. He's definitely gonna try to uh, uh, get this next stock at least. The best thing JT needs to do is get this stock off as quick as possible. Oh wow, getting through the um, cross slash. I guess Mijis were really light, so Oh, that was a really weird up the I don't know. Nice up air, not gonna kill yet, but another one might at this percent. Yeah. Oh, getting the platform, not able to get much off of it. Um, oh, there's a back yeah, air, that's, that's it. Alright, so, J now Stevens is uh, down. Uh, Alright, what's another dead? Um, uh, Ultra die. Ultra die? Oh, no, no, so they hit with this one? Oh, Omega dead. <laughs> All right, so now it's time for the Steven solo commentary, where uh, I can uh, I can shit talk NYU all I want. And then, <laughs> no, um, so we're mo we're most likely gonna see. I think SJ is the last one available on NYU's team, so we're gonna see JT Prog versus SJ. Um, but JT Prog is technically down a stock, actually. I don't know. I don't know like what's gonna happen in this situation. Because JT Prog, if JT Prog and SJ both have the same amount of stocks, then it would definitely it would, it would be close. Mr. Chalka, join me. That way, I won't start getting really biased towards uh, NYU. Yeah, NYU's yeah. best school. Period. Steven's best, NYU worst. What? We're just gonna buy QC. Q you can buy it with 10 cents. <laughs> Fun fact, this Let's building will end right now about five, six years ago, NYU I don't care. bought. I don't care if it was with every also, fun story about NYU buying things. So we have three buildings made of this really awkward, gross red sandstone. And what happened is that we had like this red sandstone being bought for one building, and then we were all like, oh shit, uh, we banked up to the quarry and we panic bought it. Anyways, here we go. Oh, yeah, thanks. So we have two versus three stocks. Like, what do you call Scoob Battle right now? Yeah, compared to the last one where we had Pichu Angel as our uh, ankle. Yeah, I think I think Sandbag was our best player at that point. Mm. <laughs> Those were the days. Those were the days. That was before I even came to your guys' bracket. But yeah, this is. I really like the choice for um, stage for Gorn, because Gorn can kind of just mess you up once he's off, and if you don't know how to DI, you die really, really early, early to up air. Yeah. Um, also, I personally think this is one of Cloud's worst stage, if not his worst stage. I feel like Cloud doesn't really have too many. Like, oh, he doesn't have bad stages. Just it's like, just like what's his worst comparison. best? Yeah. yeah. And like, I think this is that worst best stage. However, I don't know how JT feels about it. Though, as they knows this matchup, something still is one of the best, if not the best player on NYU. So like, but at the same time, like, he, he must have played Scoob, right? Next year. Um, he doesn't play me as much, but like, he does play me yeah. Yeah, Which so is kind of problematic for, like I was talking about the JT earlier, but it's kind of problematic to have the two characters he has at NYU, where we have said characters at a high, on a higher level. Not like higher than JT, but like a higher level. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, everyone who has Pokemon. Yeah, you two definitely play a little bit different in terms of Cloud. Like, I, I've said this before, like, JT plays Cloud like Ike. Yeah. He like, plays like, straight up like Ike, like fun. He plays space. Ike with battle aerials. Ike with a big sword. Though, this is a scary position to be in for both of them, as, like, now you got Kill percent for both parties. Yeah. Yeah, and right there. Oh, that's not good. Oh, he actually did again. Good up B to get out of there, but like, SJ's better. 
as we're going on the bias commentary. You know what? I, I think I'm going to support my boy JT Frog. For, oh, Frog, yeah. That's not going to kill oh, me yet, unless you're DIing atrociously. Corrin at like 151 with Rage. That up throw might even. Nah, not just yet. This is really scary. Good job getting out of there. That's not a position you want to be in against Cloud. You get spiked. But as Shane knows that, I've hit him with that before. Oh no, that's not good. He's not dead just yet. Oh, no, he's not dead. No. Oh, oh DI. God. Honestly, it's a pretty hard move to DI. Because it's not a. Oh, oh, and and yeah. It's 1 2. Gross. JT Prog needs to take two stacks in order for Stevens to win. This is really even. And it's something exactly the, the last stock that happened. JT gets the first hit, then Ashtay gets a grab, like. Very typical course. <laughs> oh god, there we go. Nice pivot grab. Good back here, too. Ooh, that might have actually ended it. <laughs> like, if that, if that's actually such a good move. I don't think approaching with dare is a great idea against Corn. Oh, it isn't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can just uh, up air or fair, or, you know, just up air. Yeah. Yeah. Approaching with dare in general is just not a good It used call. to be a good thing, like, when Cloud first came out. And like, then we realized like, dare's actually his worst area, which is good. <laughs> See, the way I play Cloud, I play him, like, before the, the realization, so only dares. Yeah. I think a dare actually might be good maybe offstage just to feel him out. Like yeah. to try and get an early stock, but Ooh, I, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Oh no oh my he's god. Not dead yet, but he's taking some damage. This is gonna be a miracle. Ooh. But then again, oh no. Missing that's the so glow. Oh, expecting the early up B there and that would not have been a fun position to be. To be <laughs> Oh, maybe actually, maybe actually, maybe actually. He's fine. No. Nice. Uh, yeah. One more. It, it was stale though. Well, that might have done it. Oh Full no. Throw? He's not dead yet. And now he has a limit. Bro, uh, yeah, that, there. that kind of cost him. Oh, there's a blade beam. Yep. And now it's possible. So uh, the thing is, I don't think JT knows how to EMP touch. What's that? EMP touch would kill right now. Well, actually, no, 7 more percent. What's e oh, EMP touch? Yeah, pretty much, um, we found out the Flame 17 of Cross Slash, of, of not Cross Slash, but um, of uh, Finishing Touch isn't coded, and it kills, purely based on range. But oh, it's how do you get that hitbox in Alright, that was, that was close, getting, though. Getting close. Almost had it. Going for the run back. Yeah, but pretty much frame 17, don't get hit by it. Oh man. <laughs> also, NYU's best school, don't at me.